What's going on YouTube? I'm in the early stages of my cut. Um, I'm down roughly 13 pounds so far. And I've kind of just been thinking about my journey through lifting and fitness and how it's all come together and things that I've done poorly through the years and things that I've done well and, you know, things that could have been done better. And to give you a little background, you know, in high school, didn't really lift. I was a wrestler. I Senior year, I was a 170 pounder, you know, just pretty skinny, not a lot of muscle. I, uh, I went into basic training at 18 years old. Uh, I did the whole National Guard uh, weekend warrior thing, haha. -ha. And coming out of basic, I was even skinnier actually. I was about 165 pounds, you know, basic can really take it out of you I mean the food really sucks and I didn't eat much and burned a lot of calories but what have it I start college you know several months after coming home from basic and AIT and at this point I'm about 175 pounds and I'm 19 years old and I decide that you know I'm I'm really gonna start lifting I'm gonna put on some quality muscle mass and excited to get this thing rolling because you know i've either been you know fat or skinny my whole life so gonna experiment with trying to build some muscle and i didn't really know how to train at all at that point in time i was just kind of dabbling on youtube and the two guys that i initially started learning from are two of the biggest names um in YouTube fitness history, Collie Muscle was one, and the late Rich Piano was the other. Fast forward several months, I became an avid fan of Rich Piano, and basically his protocol with what he wanted young guys such as myself to do was more, more, more. Train more, goddammit. Eat more, goddammit. You know, just not really focusing on progressive overload just doing junk volume training hard training to failure eating any and everything and the thing with that and i think a lot of guys that start lifting you know they listen to these guys because at that point in time they were some of the biggest influencers in the online community and the problem is when you train this way, like, yeah, like sure you'll get your initial noob gains or whatnot, but what they don't tell you is if you're not enhanced, if you're not on a vast amount of drugs like they are, you're going, eating the, it's not so much the training, I mean the training protocols as far as unnatural bodybuilders being used by a natural you know, average Joes such as myself, they could be better. But the main problem with the information these guys put out is the diet, man, the caloric intake. Like, these guys are sitting there, you know, looking like monsters, you know, having, you know, more mass than anybody on the fucking internet, saying that, you know, well, God damn it, I eat 6,000 calories a day, and you should too. And every guy that is not enhanced and especially guys that most guys that aren't genetically gifted that are you know average such as myself following this protocol is going to lead to rapid fast fat gain an excessive amount you know you fast forward i listen to this advice from 19 to 22 23 and I shot from 175 to 250. It was my absolute heaviest, guys. And over the past couple years, you know, I cut down to about 200. I um, I graduated college. I kind of went to a powerlifting gym for a while, and I benched my way back up to 230. And now I'm kind of, you know, I'm coming back down right now. And through my research and, you know, kind of digging through the bullshit of the mainstream fitness industry that, you know, 
has been dominated by these, you know, enhanced bodybuilders. Finding Gregory O'Gallagher and kind of like listening to what he has to say and researching a lot of the, you know, the principles that he talks about. He has everything about spot on, guys. And, you know, let me tell you why. For the natural average guy, it's average height, we'll say 5'9 to 6 feet tall. You know, let's say as a skinny teenager, he's 5 foot 11, 160 pounds. And he's, you know, probably at that point 14% body fat and not a lot of mass. But we know for a non-genetically gifted natural you know, putting on 25 to pounds of muscle in a lifetime of training is going to be the high end. That's going to be the top, the most. So, I mean, you look at it and it's just like, why does this guy need to ever even be 200 pounds or above? Why do you ever need to be a surplus of 200 pounds if your goal is to just look good, feel good, and be as strong as you can? I mean, Gregory O'Gallagher, to me, is very drawing because he is the poster child for being the best that the average man could ever be. I mean, he's year-round 8% body fat. Um, his strength is through the roof. I mean, the man inclines, you know, 300 for sets of five. He does weighted pull-ups for, you know, 140 pounds for sets of four and five. But guess what? He only weighs like 172 pounds because, I mean, why would he need to weigh anymore? I mean, he's 5'10", you know, he's shredded to the gills. He's damn near maxed out his absolute lifetime muscle building potential. And that's where he's at. So put that into perspective, guys. Like, the biggest thing I've had to learn, there, there's two things that, you know, I take away from all of it in my experience now that I'm on my way down is one, you're not as big as you think you are. Um, and you'll realize that if you get with a group of friends and start, you know, going after some DEXA scans and tracking your progress. And two, it's okay that you're not as big as you think you are because you don't have to be, guys. If you're at a healthy body fat percentage, if you're 10, really 10 to 18%, and you, over the course of three, four years of hard training have built 15 to 20 pounds of muscle, you're going to look really fucking good, guys. Like, you don't have to be 230 pounds. Like, I'm, you know, my heaviest, I was 250. I don't ever want to be that heavy again. I don't want to be as heavy as I am now at 220. You know, your mobility goes, it's hard on your knees, it's hard on your health, and quite honestly, you're going to look like shit. For the most part, you're going to look like you might look big and stocky, but you're not going to look the best that you can look. And I mean, I think guys, you know, rest of soul, Rich Piano, cool dude, entrepreneur, awesome YouTube channel, was a huge fan. But I think the message that he puts out into the online fitness community can kind of lead, you know, guys that aren't going to juice off track because if you're, and this isn't just my opinion, guys, like we have all the research to back it up. If you're a natural guy at, you know, like I said, five, nine to six feet tall, really like if you max out your muscle building potential, like you're going to be, you know, if you're, if you're above 200 pounds, even with maxed out potential, that means that your body fat percentage is probably going to be way higher than what would be ideal. So, I mean, I know for me, I'm, I'm 5'11", 29% body fat at, well, my last X scan, I was 222 pounds at 29% exactly. And really, guys, my first goal is to be about 185, you know, 14 and a half, 15%. And what's important to think too is most people aren't as lean as they think they are guys like most of the guys that are claiming 10 percent or 15 most of the guys that are claiming you know 20 are what i am you know 25 and higher so it's important to remember that you know you don't need to be as big as you think you need to be 
you aren't as big as you think you are and 15 percent body fat is a lot leaner than what most people even are or are going to be and that looks a lot better than what you think it's going to look like and i just think greg's protocol um it's realistic for the common man um for the busy man you train three days a week 45 minute workouts intermittent fasting flexible dieting that's working for me greg and honestly my two goals right now are to hit your warrior status incline bench so that'll be a 1.2 times body weight for five and at 180 pounds that's going to be roughly for me like like 218 for five but i mean i'm going to go for two plates for five at like when i get to my goal weight of like 185 my second goal is the the weighted chin up goal which is you know the half body weight for five so at 185 that'll be like 92 pounds or what have it but other than that greg um i think he's putting out great information and if you're new to lifting i would definitely check him out and this process doesn't have to be as complicated as you want to make it guys and you know you don't have to gain too much weight and then have to come back like i'm having to do you can start at you know 170 pounds what have it coming out of high school and you know you can put on just you can get up to like 195 drop down a little bit and you're gonna look incredible so greg uh if you see this um uh, keep doing good work brother really appreciate what you're doing for the online fitness community and other than that i will talk to you guys later